Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my June TBR. I realized in my last video that the background noise was super loud because I had my AC on. So we're gonna shut it off for this video even though it's really hot. Um, and I will just plow through these books to get them out there and show you what I'm gonna be reading this month. There are a couple on here that I said I was going to read last month. I'm just gonna show you the books and um, hopefully get to them this month. They're gonna be pushed forward a little bit more since I didn't read them last month. Um, but if you saw on my wrap up last month, it was not a good reading month for me. So hopefully this month is better. I have a little bit more time on my hands. So fingers crossed. My dog is chugging water right now. So that's what you hear <laughs> on the side. So the first book I'm going to show you is um, for Jacqueline's from Weeby Bookin' um, Readathon called June Come Hoover because it's for Colleen Hoover. Um, this is on June 12th to the 14th and I'm going to be reading All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I've only read Maybe Someday and Verity by Colleen Hoover. I love them both. I believe I gave them both five stars. Um, so yeah, All Your Perfects is next. I've heard so many good things about this book and I don't really know um, all of what it's about but I'm going to just read it anyway. I, again, have heard so many people rave about it so I'm excited to get to this. Again, that's June 12th and to June June 14th so I will be reading it during that time period. The next one I'm super excited to talk about um, I just recently talked about this in my book haul because I just got it from Target and that's uh, The Last Time I Saw You by Liv Constantine. The Last of Parish if you don't know was in my favorite thrillers so this is another thriller by her. Um, I'm waiting to get my hands on the arc of her next book but I haven't gotten it yet so I'm hoping that I do because this I've already started it and I'm loving it so far this one I found in Target and I believe it was written in 2019 published in 2020 so it is newer um, and I haven't heard anybody talk about it so here I am to show you all what it is and I don't know what it's about and like I said in my book haul video I'm not going to read the synopsis I'm gonna go into it blindly because I'm that excited so um, this will definitely be read in the earlier part of the month we're in June or on June 3rd I believe so um, yeah I'm gonna try to get to this one first because I'm really excited about it the next two um, I mentioned in my TBR for May again didn't finish them but I got the Libby um, audiobook for Know My Name by Chanel Mil Miller uh, memoir. Um, this is about Chanel who was sexually assaulted on uh, campus school grounds um, and it's her story and it's about the trial and all that so I'm more than halfway through now um, and because I got the audiobook I will be finishing it definitely within the next two weeks and um, yeah I'm just really anticipating the ending of this and how her story turns out it's very touching very um tough subject subject to read about but um very very beautifully written so i'm looking forward to finishing it this month and then the other one i mentioned was darling rose gold by stephanie warbell i'm i have hair on my book <laughs> um i'm already farther along in it than i was before so um definitely gonna finish this one this month and i'm not gonna talk about it again because i know i've talked about it 200 times um but this if you know the gypsy go uh gypsy rose story that's what this kind of goes along with so yeah so far so good um i am enjoying it and i will be finishing it this month the next one has been on my shelf for quite some time and I hear people love this book and a little over 50 pages and that's I Can Be a Better You by Taryn Fisher. Um, again, everybody I know that loves thrillers loves this book. It's also known as Bad Mommy. I believe that's the UK version. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and this one so far, it's good. I like the writing, but um, it's about a woman with fertility issues and she it's one of those tropes, another thriller about a woman going batshit crazy because she can't have a baby. And it's just a little exhausting. I'm very much over that trope. I don't want to read any more books like it, but I will continue to read this one because I do like the writing and I do like the style or the format of the book. They're very short pages and very um, quick. They're only like a page or two long. So yes, I will be finishing this one definitely this month. There is a romance-a-thon coming up this month as well from uh, Gabby from Gabby Reads and Jacqueline Weeby Bookin. Um, so I have 
a couple in that pile that I hope to get to. I'm in the middle of this YA romance, The Kissing Booth. I read the show, or yeah, I read the show. I watched the show, the movie, I watched the movie on Netflix and I loved it and they have a second book, which I also talked about in my book haul last week. And um, I plan to get to at least this one this month. I'm a little over halfway through and it's really cute. It's much, very similar to the movie. And it's just a little break from all the heavy reading I'm doing. So it's cute and I do like it. Oh, and it's by Beth Regals. The other YA romance, I think, I don't know if it's qualified as romance. It's definitely YA though. Um, Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. This one I started already. I'm in the middle of like 10 books. Again, as you know, that's what I do. I don't know why. Um, and this is about like a hate to love kind of thing going on. So I am going to qualify it as a romance, I think. Um, I love the cover of this. I'm very excited to really get into it. So yeah, that will be definitely in the pile for this month. And then the two I'm hoping to get to, but no promises because this is a pretty big list. We have nine books on this list, so we'll see. Um, is Taylor Jenkins Reid, One True Love, again, for the Romance-a-thon. Um, I love Taylor Jenkins Reid, as you may know. The seven death, or the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and the Six are two of my all-time favorite reads this year. So um, I'm very, very, very excited to read something different from her. And so I hope to get to this relatively soon definitely this month i i really hope i have time to read this i do have finals coming up so i don't know where we're gonna be but um from what i know is that this is about a married couple and i think they just like take a break from being married or something along those lines so i'm um, very excited to get to this one as i will be getting married soon so it'll be interesting to read um a book where they're already married and then the last one I'm going to talk about is I'm 18 pages in because I stopped. I had other things I wanted to read, but for those of you who know me from my first um, ep uh, my first video that I posted, Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert is one of my all-time favorite books. And so she had a second book for Eat, Pray, Love. It's called Committed, and it's her story after with Felipe and stuff. So, so far, um, he's unable to come into the country because of something that happened with his passport or something along those lines so um I hope to finish this this month also part of the um re the romance-a-thon but we shall see this will probably be the last book in my list to read so like I said that's nine books this month we'll see what we get to I hope not to disappoint myself I don't have any ERCs this month I'm not gonna sign on for any um, just because I already have a big stack. I have too many books on my shelf that I really need to get to. And a lot of them I have been anticipating, but I just keep getting newer books and I want to read those first. So it's a mess, um, as I'm sure you all know and can relate. So those are the books I have to share with you guys for my June TBR. And I will catch you guys in my wrap up for those and leave some comments down below if you enjoyed these or you didn't whatever let me know and don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the end of this video and i will see you guys soon bye